now you're still watching ways um today is inter world menopause day and it's celebrated on october 18th of each year to raise awareness of menopause and the support um option available for um, women especially to improve their health now menopause is a natural transition that occurs when when a woman uh, a woman's ovaries stop producing eggs and her menstrual cycle ceases it typically occurs between the ages of 45 and 55 but some people it happens earlier uh, menopause can cause a variety of symptoms including hot flashes night sweats mood swings vaginal dryness um, sleep problem it can also increase the risk of certain health conditions such as um okay osteoporosis <laughs> heart disease and um, stroke Menopause, uh, World Menopause Day is an opportunity to learn more about menopause and the ways to manage its uh, symptoms and it's also a time to celebrate women who are going through this transition and show them some love and support. Okay, none of us are on this table. <laughs> but honestly, hmm, them hot flashes, them hot. Like you literally would just see somebody talking and the person just breaks out into sweat. So for some reason, I didn't understand it. Um, I used to be on a breakfast show at TVC. So then, um, yeah, Nikuti, yeah. every time we just go live, the next day, you just see her with tissue. So I didn't, I never understood it until she now explained that it was um, hot flash. Because you're inside real chill AC. How are you sweating like that? Yeah. I couldn't understand it. Until I started learning about it, that's what my first introduction to uh, what's it called to menopause and all of that. So I said, "Wow!" So ever since then, every time I see an older woman, you know, I notice and just, "Oh, okay, you're going through this." You know, just give them some some kindred spirit support. But hmm, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I start to feel these hot flashes. Is is there is there everybody that must go through that? I don't know. I even wanted to ask if men go through. It. <laughs> you may miss it. Question. Don't mind me. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if every woman must go through that. I, I don't know, and that's because I feel like different women have different body, our, yeah, you know, our, our bodies. Our bodies are different. Yeah. Emotions, how things, are, even period, how mm -hmm, that affects mm -hmm. our you. hormones and everything. Yeah, everything is different. So I can't really tell if you know. It's it a general around, thing. It's yeah. a general thing, but I'm sure um, it's like when you ask about pregnancy, like. In the state of pregnancy for some people they have no pains until later on and in the state some people have pains like from the very beginning so it's always differs with these things i'm sure if you say hot flashes this that that maybe half of it would be you know tied to some people and the other half so i think it's somehow distributed evenly if i can say that mm. but i don't think you would have to experience every symptom mm. yeah. sure sure yeah. The one I'm more worried about is the vagina dryness. My sister, yeah, it's like you are in my mind. So I was actually, we were actually looking forward to bringing a doctor today because that's the only one that is just stressing me out. Like, why? Can if I, I've got, wait, I, wait, if I've gone through all of this, why do that? Why does that have to happen? You don't need that to happen. <laughs> So I think we'll speak to no 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 but actually we're gonna get a doctor. Why are you bothered about that? But That's very important. Uh, what kind of question is that? No, one? I'm just I'm getting educated here. Uh, which education? Go and look for the doctor. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I, I really want to know why, because I know that I mean some people they've said that you know when a woman has gotten to forty, yeah. I mean that's when like literally everything is alive. So. It, I, mean, again, I feel like again it's it differs for, for different, different people. people. Okay. Please that one should not come near me. I rebuke it. <laughs> okay, so let me come to you, Jennifer. What did you find for us in today's news? All right. The Oyo State Government, um that earlier today had vowed to deal with individuals who defecate in the open and indiscriminately dump refuse. So the goal is um they're going to be penalizing people who commit these offense and yeah so everyone should be on the lookout and should be on the lookout for that i mean i i i know that when you throw refuse on the road like you're being cautioned for it but then it's not in all in all places but i don't understand the part where you would 
openly defecate mm. in public, why would you want to do it? Ah, let me give you gist. You know when they shut down Third Milan Bridge, mm. that we had to go through Qatar Bridge, yeah. then go and take through Oibo. Yeah. Apparently, when you're on that bridge, there is a road. There's a road that you would take. Uh, how do I explain that road? You would like when you when you're going up the bridge, go and turn into that Oimbo Yaba side. That particular bridge, I don't know what the name of that bridge is now. I think maybe is that the Qatar? I don't think that's the Qatar bridge. For that road, sha, they line up. Jennifer, it was a huge culture shock for me. Mm. They line up like literally, defecate, turn by turn. Then they wait, and this thing is just right. So it, they are on the bridge. So they, you see men just open their bomb and just squat and they'll just be defecating there. Mm. So it, it's actually a dedicated defecation center. So this thing you're saying, eh? It happens everywhere. Do you understand? You just open your bomb bomb and, and most times it's men. Because I don't I don't see a lot of women doing that mm. because we have a lot of things to protect. You yeah. can't really just go and open your bomb bomb anywhere. And it's really ridiculous. You know? So when I was now saying, ha, how can this person be defecating? Say, ah. That is the, the it's a spot. Yeah. So I now looked and I truly saw the people. Five a.m. like this, or be six a.m. They lined up. Ah. As soon as they finish, another person they come. It's a dedicated spot for the open dedication, and it's right there. Ha! Please, disease. <laughs> open dedication. <laughs> well, enjoy your story. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> so I saw well. I saw a video. Mm. Um, it's quite a funny video and it's also disturbing. I don't know if we're going to put that video up. So it's a video of a frog alive Jesus and chilling huh? in a sachet <laughs> in a pack of sachet water. Mm. Yeah. And you think the, dog, the frog is alive, like breathing. Yes, yeah, and, and, yeah, and to think, are you, if you look, watch it, you see it drinking water. Mm, like you see it's the, drinking that water, and yeah. that bubble is helping it stay alive. So, my God, I, I'm, I wasn't sure how to react because you see <laughs> things like this. <laughs> these things are sold every day mm. to people. So you can imagine someone buying this a pack of water Ew. like this, and then and you know sometimes people don't look. You, nobody is, is able to look in this Ooh. batch. Wait now, nobody this batch where there is the frog. I hope you know that there is a batch that there was no frog, but the frog was inside. Nobody, there is even what about tadpoles? Everything. What is all that? Nobody is thinking. Oh my god! Of the the effect of something like this. So it goes. This goes to tell you what is happening in the um in the factory where this. Uh, sachet water is it means prepared. they are breathing wow. there. it means that they are breathing yeah. so if one is alive enough to stay in a pack they sealed it so what is your process like mm -hmm. what's your purification process like that a frog got in but it was and still that alive navdak was actually clamping down on this oh, sachet water so that's to tell you that there is no even you know that normally when they produce water like if you go to the lasena um, factory for yeah. instance in lasena factory you see that the water is like really extremely hot so even if there was going to be any uh, what is it called a germ mm. you would have died killed it. because there's no how you can survive that temperature by the time it passes because that's the how the, yeah. that's the temperature so they literally have to cool down that water yeah before they can even bottle it so all these pure water companies bottling um pure sachet water, water yeah. companies what what's their process because i remember there was a time that nafta was heavily clamping down on them I don't know what that Navdak is doing now. Because look at them, they are sprouting from everywhere. Literally from the tap, they just bottle it. Mm. I mean, they just bag it, mm. seal it, and they bag, put them in the bags and, and they, they take they it. Have been different and that, is the, like that, that is the most consumed water. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it is perceived to be the most affordable. Most, yeah. I know a friend of mine that used to buy this sachet water to, to bathe her baby now because the water in the area was bad. Mm. So she used to use the sachet water to bathe the baby. Then she now uses bottle water to make the baby's food. Mm. Now imagine, you are talking about the frog that you are seeing. What about all the eggs they've laid? Yes. So that entire batch of water, NG, even the bottle water we are drinking is not safe. That's why me, I only stick to a brand that I know. You understand? It, it's going to cost me a little more, but I just stay there. 
rather than it's ha. better to be safe than to be sorry. Sorry. So that's what yeah. we're saying now is some people have frog eggs inside their bellies. Inside their bellies. God help us. And you know how far this can go in terms of health. When it gets into your belly, it then starts heal. procreating. Heal, heal, heal. God help us. Yeah. That's a very disturbing video. <sighs> Very disturbing. And I think if they can find the name of that sachet water, yeah. the brand, if they can find the name, they should find the company and yeah. sell it all. They should find it. They need to close down completely. Ah, oh, God of heaven. All right, so this uh, headline was a bit misleading. It said Abacha's daughter reportedly strangled to death in Meduguri. So when I heard, saw Abacha, I thought it was the. Um, apparently, there's a lawmaker representing Ngala. Ngala um, constituency in Borno's uh, House of Assembly, um, Buka Abacha, um, he's been thrown into mourning following the demise of his daughter, who was reportedly strangled to death at her residence in um, Gidon, Gidon Dumbe area in uh, Meduguri. So according to the report, they said they found her body, her legs and her hands were tied behind her back. And they found her two, um, that her two-year-old daughter was found beside her body crying. Um, of course, the, they said the husband of the victim took her corpse to the police station and um, spokesperson confirmed the incident today. And we actually received the report on the killing, but whether it was gunmen that committed the culpable homicide or not uh, is yet to be ascertained. Um, this is really sad. You remember we talked about killings? I think yeah. that was why I took the story. Like Literally, these are things that if you really pay attention, it's almost like on a, it's not even, now it's not even longer on a daily basis. If you go online in the morning, you will see one. You go mm -hmm. online in the, at I'm noon, you will see one. Killings, yeah? yeah, you see yeah. all these reported killings and all of that. It's, it's just rampant. You know, it's just so sad. That two-year-old will be traumatized. You know, I'm happy that, or, or I'm grateful. Let me not say I'm happy. I'm grateful that she's two. Let's pray that she does not have a photo, photographic memory. Yeah. That she's able to, I mean, they, they'll be able to, like, help her, you know, forget that part because it's very traumatic for a two-year-old to see your mother dead you know hands and legs tied to her back it's mm. sad very sad people are actually going but for by the minute reason? they are getting heartless for by the minute reason? we don't know the father for is a politician reason? so who knows maybe it's his political enemies god knows what happened but whatever it is like we are becoming we're losing humanity anything like it's okay to just take a life yeah. and not look back even this pure water company do you understand it is lack of humanity because my mother ran a restaurant for my mother ran a restaurant for let's see how many years now maybe 20 years or 20, 22 25 years my mother would never give a customer food that she cannot eat mm. and my mother's standard of eating is very high so for her to cook something for you to eat if she can it cannot pass the test her own quality uh, control was her so if she could not eat it she could not serve it mm -hmm. So how would you produce something that you cannot drink and give it to a larger population? It's the humanity that we've just lost. And it's very sad. I agree. We'll take a break now. When we come back from that break, we'll um, speak on the topic for the day, which is the Lekki Expressway. Stay with us. We'll be right back.